Assassin's Creed Pirates. Before the infamous pirates rose to glory, the fierce French captain came to be known as La Bouffe, the buzzard. Throughout the Golden Age, he forged his legend from ship to ship, from prize to prize, from plunder to plunder. And the bounty he took became a myth. When he was finally caught, he left behind a message that would puzzle the world for centuries. A riddle. A cryptogram, a map to his treasure. Today, Abstergo has finally found the key to this mystery. Alonso Batia, a pirate who knew Labus before he became a legend. This game is totally playable. First time I played it, it was on a cruise ship. I was on my way to Finland from Estonia. It was a nice trip and I had an hour to amuse myself. So I found this game! First of all, I want to clear up that I'm not a big fan of Assassin's Creed, but I'm a HUGE fan of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This game blew my mind the very first time I stuck it in my PS3. The graphics, everything was awesome, but we're not talking about Black Flag here, we're talking about Assassin's Creed Pirates. Assassin's Creed Pirates is a mobile version of Black Flag. The major difference is you don't play as a character, you play as a ship, but you are a character. Main interaction between characters is text based, but that's okay, because I possess the ancient knowledge of reading. We play as a character Alonso Batia. He is used by Abstergo to get the treasure of La Bouche. There is really long chapter based storyline that you can complete. A lot, and I mean a lot of side quests. Starting from fishing, hunting smaller treasures and finding bottles with treasure maps. While sailing the seas you can defeat your enemies and collect their loot. Which is needed for upgrading your ship and traveling to different places. And there are a lot of places. Check the map if you don't believe me. Each of these circles mark a full-size map that you can explore. It's full of different side quests and main missions. Luckily, there is an easier way to travel. There is also a fast travel in this game, which basically is viewpoint discovering. You can travel between viewpoints, and viewpoints are usually lighthouses that you have to clear out before you can use them. That means battling against a bigger ship. But most useful is using this minimap type of thing that you can actually drag with a finger where your ship needs to go. It's perfect! There are hundreds of different collectibles. There are tens of different ships you can buy and upgrade. Each of them with different attributes. The further you go, the better the ship. Man of Wars and uh, even bigger ships cost a lot of coin in this game. There are many ways you can earn coin in this game. Most easiest are storyline missions. You can repeat them as much as you want. Just find the fastest and the easiest one and repeat it all over again. There is also a perk which doubles the amount of resources you get. This is definitely needed when you're replaying the missions just to get resources. The main resources in this game are wood, supplies and coin. Supplies are mostly used traveling between maps. Wood basically allows you to upgrade your ship's speed, power and defense. By completing main missions and side missions you level up. Leveling up means new ships, new perks. And they are all upgradable at least 3 levels. There are tears coming to my eyes each time I scroll to the end of the list of different ships to buy. No matter how much I've upgraded mine, it's still a piece of shit compared to those at the end. Two million coins? Two million coins? In Pirates, you can visit the tavern. 
tavern is full of crew members you can buy. Buying them grants you extra perks. And now the best part, battling your enemies. Your enemies are mostly other ships. They come in many different sizes. Small ones are easier to beat. The bigger ones take time, effort and different kinds of ammunition. By choosing your perks wisely, you can defeat them with ease. But the most important part is dodging enemy attacks. Battling system is in different phases. It's kinda turn based. While you are attacking enemy, enemy can't attack you and other way around. Attack phase for you is always the same. After using your cannons and other shit, they are reloading, takes some time. By successfully dodging attacks, you can use your special guns as well. There are two kinds of different defending phases. First one is dodging phase. They can vary on different ships in different orders. If you choose right direction and time it correctly, you won't get hurt. Other phase of defending is first person mode. This is when you see the cannonballs coming. Cannonballs you can defeat by sliding over them. Exploding barrels you can destroy by tapping on them. And crates you must avoid touching by all means. If you complete all those steps correctly, you won't get hit. And now it's your turn to retaliate. Use everything you have and repeat the process and you will win. The main words for this game are Sail, Battle, Sail, Loot, Upgrade and Sail again. But hidden deep in the depths of this game is the most idiotic, most painful, most cock-crabbing, not twisting mission I've ever played. It's called Mayan Temple. It's basically the only first person mission in this game. You have to escape Mayan Temple with the treasure. The main objective is just run from the start to the end. Slide under obstacles, dodge the pillars, jump over canyons. You not only have to time it right, but you also sometimes have to turn your phone in mid-air left to right to dodge the obstacles. Those missions make my anus ache. After failing it 25 times, you feel like you've been probed all night long. But in conclusion, I do like this game. I love the shanties while I'm sailing around the world, sailors singing to me, enjoying the views, battling your enemies, collecting loot, everything is awesome. This brings me to the part, how often do you have to log in? In this game, it doesn't matter. Upgrades are mostly instant or take seconds or minutes to complete. Storyline progress, you can always continue where you left off. No competition between other players, just you versus the game. So, is this game worth real money? No, absolutely not. Their special offers are nuts. Oh yeah, you get 90% discount, you get 400,000 coins for only 399. And in the side there you can see 90% discount in all in red so you can see it and read it. This 39.99 which is clearly visible but you know slightly crossed off. No one, no one will, no one will fucking pay you 40 euros for this little amount of coin. But you, you get the ship too. Well fuck the ship. I, I already have my upgraded ship okay. Just maybe there is a person who enjoys this game so much that he can spend money on this. But since you're not competing to other players, it doesn't seem necessary. If I had to rate this game, which I'm about to do, I would give it 7 out of 10. It's worth your time, but not worth your money. Each time you play, it's a blast and totally enjoyable. I am Silly Lamas. 
and I really hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching. Till next time.